This is the technical difficulties. It has been many years since we have played reverse trivia, but we are back. Joining me as ever, Chris Joel. Oh, yeah. Woo! Gary <laughs> Brennan. Uh, we're all drinking normal water, whereas Matt is drinking burnt water today. <laughs> and Matt Gray. I, ju I just like the taste. Normally at this point, I would reveal a classic deck of trivia question cards, but... This time, we have had some questions specially written and commissioned by an actual, proper, professional quiz writer. Jesus. And we are going to ruin them because oh, I'm Jesus never wrote quiz no, questions. No, he didn't, no. Oh, no. it would be funny if he did, though. <laughs> when you say a question writer, I mean, I think we, for a quiz show, I think mm. we need to work out exactly on what scale of quiz show we're dealing yeah. with. Is, is this still trivial? Yes. Or? Are we talking, like, only connect or bullseye? Because I am at one <laughs> end of this spectrum, <laughs> and it's not only connect. Uh, this question writer has written for Only Connect, oh, but no. these are very much at the bullseye end. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> you are absolutely safe. And I've got question oh, cards. Oh, I've got that. actual question cards, oh, folks. Well, that's wow. merchandise. <laughs> wow. All right, who's doing the signature, who's doing the kiss, and who's doing the spray of perfume? I was just going to mark it with my scent, personally. <laughs> I, say, I did not expect that to end with the word perfume. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give you the answer. All you have to do is work out the question. It's been a while. Good luck. We start with ore-powered ships. Ore-powered <laughs> or, or not-powered ships, as, as the case yeah. may be, I imagine. It's logic gates being shoveled in as power. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Beware the NAND pirates. <laughs> <laughs> NAND pirates. Just to say, if, if you get uh, the right types of uh, logic gate ships meeting to each other, they'll cancel out and become nothing or something like that. I can't think. That's a maths joke, people. <laughs> and one person enjoyed it. <laughs> Whoever you, you are, are <laughs> let us know in the comments. You are our people. This is what we're saying. So, all ships. I'm still stuck on NAND pirates, sorry. <laughs> oh, good. I am glad. It wasn't for everybody. <laughs> But those that did enjoyed it. He did, didn't he? <laughs> he did, he did. Is the question Wait, something... Sorry, I just realised O-A-R, not O-R-E. Yes. Oh, oh, I thought it was O-R-E. <laughs> That's a third one, because I was, you know, O-R, the hence the joke. But yes, is it O-A-R or O-R-E? O-A-R. So what I was about to say, is it the type of ships that bring coal and stuff are powered by the coal that they're bringing? So it's not that type of ore. Coal isn't an ore, is it? No, it isn't really. It's a but... mineral. But still, I never thought of that, that a coal ship was probably just going to take some off to yeah. power the boiler. Well, ships are oil anyway, I think, mostly. Not coal-powered ones. That's I've just true. got this in this... <laughs> Oh, <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> it's, oh. It's, in the, it's in the definition, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. i got an image of you, like, captaining this ship across the ocean that's carrying coal. You're running out of fuel, <laughs> and you're... You can't touch the coal, that's <laughs> other people's coal. <laughs> We attach the coal together in a long stick and put the long stick of coal in the water <laughs> using a hot... It's not ore, it's coal. It's, this ship uh, turns off. It's no deck, pla no deck planks anymore. <laughs> no wooden ripped, furniture. It's just coal. But the, the coal is the intact. Coal is there, Someone yeah. leans in and goes, you could have used some of the coal, you know. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! I didn't think to smack my own forehead that hard. What did the Romans use to invade? It is a history question. You've got the wrong empire. Of no, course it is. No, it's it's all-powered ships. <laughs> it's not going to be f***ing astronomy, is it? <laughs> what did they use before solar-powered ships? F***ing triremes. Yes, correct. <laughs> 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 yeah, what in ancient Greece were biremes and triremes? <laughs> Do you just get sick of the banter there and yeah. decide to go for well, it? Well, I only dollied oars up after I'd guessed it so we could have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> He's got how the show works. Yeah. We're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah. I'm not. Yes, biremes had two rows of oars vertically, triremes had three. It's vertical. Vertically? Yeah. Surely you'd put them forwards and backwards, you otherwise you they're more in if you stack them. So there's if more you got this... than three every side, both tri and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's banks. Good. Like cannons and that. Your next answer is... By Colangelo, what is the question? <laughs> In Pride Month, what do you call one of the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> I was grasping towards I'm that. I'm sure you were. Oh, I particularly appreciate the grasping gestures yeah. there. T-Rex grasping. <laughs> what is he grasping? We're not entirely sure, but he's grasping it. It's a special type of vehicle where you've got a Colangelo on front and a Colangelo on, on the back. back. <laughs> How many Sistine chapels? <laughs> What's a portmanteau for the purchase of many Italian Renaissance paintings? <laughs> Actually, that could be your shop, couldn't it? Yeah. Bye. Because they've got to go van. Go, 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 go. Hey! 
That's a town in Wales, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you made it up, you bastard. That's a call back for the, that's a call back for the long-term viewers. <laughs> is it a, a, a cycle race? It's a cycle something, yes. Like, yes. Really? 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 Well, your first response was uh, going on by and not bike or bicycle. I don't know <laughs> why I was going with bicycle, but... Well, it's what, it's what it sounds like if you've got... Bicycle. <laughs> I say if you've got a block nose. <laughs> Michelangelo. Yeah. yeah, you're right, Gary. How do you pronounce Michelangelo, Michelangelo with a blocked nose? Yeah, yes. Cool. Well done. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'll take the points now. <laughs> I've given up on even trying to score these <laughs> things. Yeah, but someone out there enjoys it. It gives them something to do. Well, they get, they've now got an extra step, though, because they get to decide how the points are defined. When Tom just announces a winner, you've got to work backwards from ah, evidence to decide yeah. on the scoring yeah. scheme. Yeah. Yes. You're welcome. It's called audience engagement. <laughs> the question is, though, how many words are there here? Because is it bike um, a Langelo? Oh, uh, yeah. If you're taking Langelo somewhere on your bike, yeah. yes. Or is it bike a la Angelo? Jello. <laughs> and uh, that's a bike in jelly, obviously. Yeah. In America. Obviously. Yes. yes, yes. We've all eaten it. No, it's, mm, it's with jello. Oh, with jelly, mm. of course. Yep. I was in a mistaken American yes. restaurant where yeah. I was served a bike in jelly. Yes. And, and it could also be bike allonge. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelangelo. It is the pun you've worked out. It is bike and Michelangelo. Is it a bike that looks like Michelangelo? How would that work? It looked like Michelangelo. It's got pizza <laughs> instead of wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and a, and a, 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 a oh, orange band. bandana, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you're thinking of the turtle. I'm thinking of the artist, and I'm trying yeah. to genuinely try and ram <laughs> these two things together. <laughs> well, that would get you two Michelangelos, wouldn't it? It would. Oh, yeah, it would. that's a start. Ah. Now oh. we just got to wedge a bike up them, and we're somewhere. Wedge your bike up them? Yeah. <laughs> one of those little ones with the little wheels where you got to really squat down to ride it. Like a clown one. If you wedged it up, you've really got to sit down to ride it. If you wedge your bike up your arse like that and you've got the wheels poking out, is it just like a skateboard then? No. No, it's, it's like one of those dogs scooting along on its arse. <laughs> <laughs> just very smooth. The, the term for that is, is tacking like a yacht does. When <laughs> they what, so they're moving across the wind? Imagine. <laughs> Oh, that's what the, the, the streaks you see in the ocean are. It's exactly. not oil. It's, it's sailing yacht, boat It's <laughs> yacht poo. <laughs> Is Michelangelo when you're cycling along whilst nearly touching God? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it when you're cycling along and nearly touching cloth? <laughs> <laughs> no, again, that's having a bike round Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. It's the other way around. The poo comes to greet the bike. <laughs> this is a nickname for someone who does something. His name is Stephen Lund. You've probably not heard of him. Oh, he he's has... an artist. Yes, does he, he pa is. Does he paint pictures while on a bike? Does he paint pictures of bikes? Are bikes the paintings? Does the bike do the painting? <laughs> That's got to be it, surely. Does he that paint bikes on the ceilings of chapels? Oh, does he put? Does he paint biblical figures riding bikes on the ceilings of of papal chapels? You were very close with he paints using a bicycle. There is oh. one extra step. He he uses instead of wheels pizzas. Uh, <laughs> no big rollers like at a B and Q. You know the big fluffy ones that you can use for. <laughs> he uses you the wall. wheels as the rollers and paints with paint on the wheels on a big canvas. That would be good. But no, it's actually it's a little more underwhelming than that. But he can travel quite a big distance. Oh, Strava. Correct. Oh. Oh. GPS maps. Yes, this is Stephen Lund who makes large-scale artworks, including a giraffe, Darth Vader, and Christ the Redeemer, and a 90-kilometer cycle to create a mermaid. So he just has a GPS, draws a picture with that, and is known as Michelangelo. Now, while these are always impressive when I've seen them because I know the amount of cycling required to do it, they are always rudimentary drawings. <laughs> yes. Whereas Michelangelo was not renowned for his <laughs> rudimentary drawings. He was renowned for his sewer dwelling and eating of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 He did that. That's right. I he have that, that one joke for this question, and <laughs> I'm going to keep making it. <laughs> it really you is. keep laughing. It really is one for the teenagers, isn't it? You know. <laughs> Your next answer is Letchworth and Wellen. What is the question? Which solicitors dealt with my house sale? <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of both of my um, new... Um... Balls. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I genuinely thought he was going to go for testicles. We have, passed, <laughs> we have passed the era of hearing these questions and immediately relating it to Matt Gray's genitalia. Unfortunately, I don't have any klaxons to go off if that happens, but I'm just, we, we, we are past that era. Wouldn't it be a klaxon, it would be the sound of two bells going, dong. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I was going to say, is it the names of my two new manservants? Uh-huh. Letchworth. Letchworth. Wellen. <laughs> Wellen. Wellen. Letchworth. You've got to keep an eye on him, though, haven't you? <laughs> manservant's not the, probably the right word for it anymore, No, you didn't it? make it any better going from testicles to manservants. <laughs> <laughs> is, is There's Let- nothing wrong with indented <laughs> servitude. <laughs> is, Letchworth, oh, wait, it's, <laughs> is Letchworth the name of the Spanish milk stock exchange? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, you can have that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was solid. Imagine if Hertfordshire had its own dessert delicacy and Dolce de Lechworth. <laughs> Dolce de Lechworth. <laughs> <laughs> so how, many mil- how many milks are in it? One. <laughs> it's just milk. <laughs> name two garden cities in yes. Hertfordshire. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. Do you happen to know the, uh, the name of the man who came up with the idea? and who Frank oh. Lechworth. <laughs> and and Sir David Wellingarden City. <laughs> was, was it Milton Keane? <laughs> <laughs> Ebenezer Howard. Ah. He, came, he was a bit late for that name. Yeah, that is... I don't know if the ideas came earlier or if... <laughs> <laughs> they were implanted to him, but along with his name by someone from the m- middle 1800s. Uh, Ebenezer Howard, OBE, born 1850, Bloody died hell. 1928. Wait, when were those garden cities? I thought that was the 50s. I thought... No, yeah. that's new towns like Milton Keynes. Uh, I thought the garden cities were new towns, so I thought they were just well, a different flavour. They sort flavor. of are, but... Yeah, well, they are, but clearly an older flavour. Well in Garden City, 1920. Wait, no, that makes sense. The Well in Garden City has some d- Art Deco architecture in it. Mm. Yep. It's got an Art Deco John Lewis, which is probably the most middle-class thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Letchworth Garden City, development of the modern town began in 1903. Uh, wow. They were also redesignated new towns, and I don't oh, okay. actually know the difference. Well, new town is literally it's just, just there a was new nothing town. there, and they put a town up. Yeah. Oh right. It's, no it's, a, it's as simple as it sounds. Right. I mean, the weirdest thing with Milton Keynes now is that you've got, you know, you've got the, you've got the roads, and you've got the pedestrian walkways, haven't you? Like the two separated out. Nobody uses the pedestrian walkways because they're felt as being unsafe. So they're now full of delivery robots. Yes. Going up and down with their little flags, delivering um, Costa to people. <laughs> Including things. Matt, who literally <laughs> ordered a Costa from a Milton, Milton Keynes Costa. Milton Keynes train station. And got yeah. it delivered to just a little bit down the road in a robot. Can you ride them? Uh, they, apparent, I haven't tried it because I am massive, but apparently they complain. Well, I don't care if they bloody complain. They and can they just stop. bloody do it. Ah, oh, well, that's different. But the thing is... I, I thought of a robot going, ah, and it's heavy <laughs> all the way along. But that's what I'm thinking. If you, it, it would be t- cheaper than a taxi, was my thinking. So if you get a Costa, deliver it by robot, when you're coming back pissed from a night out, you jump on the back of your robot and ride it home. If it, if it weren't for the fact that they're tiny and will detect the weight and, and won't move, great It's the plan. new generation way of ordering the pizza and riding home with the pizza delivery guy, <laughs> which I have done. <laughs> Let's face it. Really? Well, they're going to deliver it anyway. You three are from another f***ing planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the delivery guy's delivery. If you're doing it off just Oh, I'm not bothered about that. That makes sense. You lost me at the robots. I tuned out by the time you were talking about riding the delivery man home. <laughs> <laughs> Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and the technical difficulties are from Uranus. <laughs> you have ridden in a driverless taxi, though, right? Yes. In About America. Eight feet until it bumped into the wall, it was just an old checker cab. <laughs> <laughs> Matt jumps in and goes, Go! Yes. Was it the taxi? <laughs> Follow that car! <laughs> the taxi out of Ghostbusters. One of those. <laughs> Do you still get taxi driver banter off the computer, though? <laughs> Going anywhere nice, sir? <laughs> the thing about Brexit, Brexit is, is right. <laughs> all I'm seeing is you still got the steering wheel, but on it are like two mannequin hands in driver gloves that are still doing that. <laughs> like the thing. Yeah. There's still a beaded seat cover. <laughs> there, has to be. there has to be. The next answer is submarine. What is the question on my trivia card? What is about what goes under under the waves, but you can't go on top of it because you'll get all wet? <laughs> Definition? I think we can all agree we're right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you can all agree that's the correct answer. Yeah. If I was to turn the phrase under the sea into one word. <laughs> submarine, yes. That's the answer. Some, somewhere out there, someone in the audience just went, ah, oh, <laughs> yes, well done around. you, whoever you were who just... just, just I do that it's all good. the time with words that I never consider that they actually have. I do that with band names. I never consider that band names actually have meanings and are mm. words. Like I just hear it as sounds. I did the same recently with, with realising that Santa is Santa Claus because of St. Nicholas. Uh, no, I, I had not made that realisation. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Nope. No, it came, it was just Santa, I was like, oh, no, no. 
it was a genuine one of those in the bath moments of yep. bloody hell. I've been staring at that all along. And it makes the thing is that you sit there and you go, I must tell someone about this. <laughs> but everybody <laughs> already knows. But either everybody already knows, or you realise the minute it falls out of your mouth, it is of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> like no one can do anything with that information. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't it's solve a problem. For this show. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't do a thing. You just go, oh right, yeah, I suppose it's it is. Free content. Yeah. <laughs> and you watched it. Well, submarine. Um, submarine, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. What yellow thing do they all live in? It is an entertainment question. Is it, what is Das Boot about? You're very close with that, but it's not Das Boot. Das High Heel. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have Das Open Toad Sandals, you know, for the beach, maybe not all year, but... <laughs> das Espadrille, Das Moccasin. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in my head is like an Armando Iannucci gag from a comic relief thing like 15 years ago where I was just going through the history of comic relief, completely fake stuff. And it was just this five second gag of Dick and Dom in Das Boot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just the, the two of them sat in the boot of a car wearing like German U-boat captain hats oh, and going, God. <laughs> driving quite, through Stoke on Trent. It's quite wet outside, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was it. That was That's the, great. five second gag. All set up. That's like the effort it took. That's great. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so it's, it's a wartime submarine question. U five seven one. I mean, name off the wartime submarine movies. You've got one of them. Watership Down. Down Periscope <laughs> with Kelsey Grammer. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. What like Watership Down? Is that's a, a U-boat movie, isn't it? Yeah. That's it's about, a. It's about a ship on the water going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Submarines yeah, yeah, yeah. can do Surprisingly that. Surprisingly good gag there, Matt. That no one reacted to at all. Like, I wanted to draw attention. I think it's it. because it's just the mark of quality that the three of us bring to this. That, <laughs> <laughs> that we didn't feel the need to applaud yeah, what was already yeah. a really good shot. Because, yeah. you know what? Baseline standard. Can you write the bio for my agent, please? <laughs> <laughs> Baseline standard. <laughs> Quite high. This is a 1995 film, and it is not. Oh, James Bond. Just about submarines. Tomorrow Never no, Die. K9, The Widowmaker. Uh, it's Crimson Tide. Gene Hackman and Denzel Washington, 1995. Oh, I thought it was oh, another a good night. film. That's ah. why. <laughs> that's boots quite good. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I forgot uh, we started there. Yeah. We've come a long way, baby. The USS Alabama was featured in the film, and I have a note here uh, that says there is a shot of the real USS Alabama submerging in the film. Uh, this was filmed without permission. That's, That's weird, naughty. because the one thing that the US military is known for is, is, is its huge marketing budget. Yes, but they require script approval to do it. Oh. The director, Tony Scott, had a helicopter and boat crew filming the sub without its express permission. So, what did the sub do? Did it keep surfacing to ruin their shots? Oh, it went underwater so they couldn't film it. Yes. What shot did Tony Scott want? It going underwater. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, you know that that argument was happening inside the submarine as well. No, don't. No, that's what they want. I think the argument would have been more along the lines of do we fill them full of BMG ammunition? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the other thing. I thought someone would have gone up on top and pointed one of the guns at the yeah. helicopter and said, go away or you know, we'll assume you're, you're bad people and we'll shoot you down. But no, Mr. Captain has to have the last word, doesn't he? So that was a reenactment of a scene from Crimson Tide, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that was an acting reel role there. That was, you got in the mind of just one junior gunner just sitting there going, come on. Can I, can, oh, no, can, no. I, can I just give a warning shot? Something. There he goes. Smart ass. No, no, just no, no, no. one of the blades of the helicopter. He doesn't the... need all of them. Yeah. No, but he wants to sink his boat, doesn't he? I, I might have seen that submarine. Chances are very low because I know that I've seen a submarine in America. I think it was in Chicago and it might have been a German one. It might have been a U-boat <laughs> that I saw in Chicago. So the odds of it being the, the USS Alabama, which is still in service. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Chicago's a coastal city. No. It's on the coast of the lake of whatever. It's on the Great Lakes. Yeah, we go. It's on the coast. And you what are the Great Lakes accessible to? <laughs> okay. Penguins. The sea for shipping. Yes. Yes. I, They're I, on the coast. I do like the idea of them trying to get the US Alabama through the locks and shipping required to get you. Goes under them. That's it. That's how it does it. Yeah. Yeah. It hides under another ship. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's that's some screenwriting going on, right? <laughs> yeah. Was it a U boat that I saw? I don't know. I'm not bothering you to be honest with you. You're just doing <laughs> that for humorous effects. <laughs> but if it's still in, but he did say it's still in service, and let's face it, if the one thing they did, the Nazis built them well. <laughs> <laughs> the submarine at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago is the U five oh five. It is the only German sub in the US. There we go. I told you I saw a submarine in America. That they know about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could have tunneled could under. <laughs> It could be one in 
in there. We don't... You can never be sure with a submarine. Yeah, it could Marketing have visited... slogan there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that poster. You can never be sure with, with a submarine. submarine. And there's a submarine at the bottom just yeah. smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the long game. I don't know how a smoke submarine can smoke a cigar, uh, but no, it's it doing it. It does the torpedo tube, doesn't it? Oh, Sorry, yeah. it does what? <laughs> as soon as you said cigar, it ended up with a Groucho Marx. <laughs> 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 but that's exactly what, yeah. but it's kind of winking as well. But that's why they can't find it, because it's in disguise. It's, it's just walking tough. around the streets of New York as Groucho yeah. Marx. Clunk, fooling clunk, everyone, clunk, 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 fooling clunk. everybody. Ping! <laughs> it's a lot louder when it's not underwater. <laughs> Just everyone in rage. Oh, oh, God! I hate the Marx Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Russian ones. <laughs> At the end of the show, congratulations <laughs> to someone. I'm me, officially... Me, me. I claim it. I you, it. you, you, award it to yourself. Gary, you, you went for it first. Congratulations. You win a Hursuit set of small steps to get you over a fence, endorsed by the most successful member of One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's style, 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 but I can't get it's the rest Harry of it. Harry Styles is Harry Style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just Harry. It was just Harry, yeah. With that, thank you very much to Chris Joel. Yeah, all right. Gary Brand. Good evening. And Matt Gray. Someone's going to pick up those question cards from the floor, and it's not me. <laughs> it's going to be me. I've been Tom Scott, and we'll see you next time.